How to Tune Yamaha ATV Carburetor This video describes the carburetor tuning procedures for a Yamaha all-terrain vehicle. Hello people, I've seen a lot of videos where people have blasters that are running too rich and they're not hitting power band and they take off the airbox lid and it runs better or it's running too lean and it sends the bog out or the other way around it bogs out from foul plugs from being too rich. Either way, it's because your bike's not tuned correctly. Now I happen to have a Yamaha blaster to do this on. It'll work on any four stroke, any two stroke, whatever you got, it'll work on a dirt bike, every it's just all the same. The reason why I'm doing it on this because it's easier to do it than on a banshee. I'm gonna make a tuning video for a banshee, because banshees have dual carbs, they're harder to tune. But it's pretty much the same concept, just with two screwdrivers. So basically here's my blaster. I found out that uh when I would start it up and hold out the choke. It would be pissing air from somewhere. It was from here because the guy drilled a hole and threaded a hole in the carb for an idle screw. So I took an idle screw out of another carburetor that I have, I popped it in here, and the idle screw actually works. So then I backed out the throttle up here so now it has just uh, some play, and I got it idling from there, which is good. So now after a rebuild, after you rejet your bike, uh, what else can I say? And now after you rejet, after a rebuild, after you rejet, after you change an air filter, after you change an exhaust and rejet, after you change an exhaust and filter, and rejet whatever you do or when you just change a silencer you don't have to rejet but you do have to retune here's what I did I had it tuned in for uh, no air filter because I didn't have an air filter just an air box lid the guy before me cut the whole back plastics cut the air box right out so now just the uh, air box lid is what holding it in from falling out now I'm gonna try to rig up something to hold it anyway every bike it's stock setting to uh, start from a to, to start tuning is one and a half turns on the air mixture screw. Here's one and a half turns with a lot of you guys. This is just my throttle override system, don't worry. Alright, right now, you can see it's at 12 to 6 o'clock. Turn it one more to 12 and 6 o'clock, that's half a turn. Turn it one more 12 to 6 o'clock, that's one full turn. One more 12 to 6 o'clock, it'll stop. Some of them might be 3 to 9 o'clock, some of them might be 2 to 7, or 2 to 8, whatever it is. This is, uh, mine happens to be 12 to 6, so I'm going to go back out, half, one, one and a half. Now, when you're tuning your bike, it works better when you have a high idle. Higher, not high. A lot of people don't understand what I'm saying. Back out the idle screw so the RPMs get higher and higher. A lot of people don't understand that. What you want to do is get your bike good and hot. Get it running, go for a ride up and down the driveway a few times, and get it warmed up. Then what you do is you start it up and put it to a idle, an idle like mine has. Here's the idle. It's smoking. It'll run fine right now because it's warmed up. Here's how you tune your bike. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you guys. You have to turn it, just the air mixture screw both ways until the engine picks up RPMs. If you turn it to the right and the RPMs decrease, that means you're running rich enough. If you turn it to the left and it increases, that means you're starting to tune your bike. Here's what it is if you're running, if you're running lean, if the bike has to be leaner and instead of richer. When you turn it to the right, the screw is going to go in, making it richer. So I'm going to show you guys what happens when you turn that screw in. I turn it in half turn. RPM started to come down. Another half. Another half, it'll probably stall out. Or close to it. See how low my RPM went down just by turning the air mixture screw? That means my bike would be out of tune right now because the screw's all the way in. It's trying to run too rich. Now, as you can see, slowly, I'm going to back it back out to one and a half. It's going to get high. Once you back it out again, you're going to want to go half turn at a time. Once the RPM start to pick up, go quarter turn. Right now, I'm going to do quarter turn to show you guys. Once it gets, then once you start backing it out further and further, the RPMs get higher. They're going to start decreasing eventually. That means you're going out of tune. You want to get it to where the RPM's the highest. I'll show you guys how to do that. I'm going to go way too lean so the RPMs decrease again. So here you go. Ready? Look. Half. One. You want to give it a few seconds to pick up too. You can see it's already starting to pick up. One and a half. Two. Two and a half. Three. RPM 
jumps are coming back down, you see? Now, I'm gonna stall. I just shut off the bike. Now, that's basically what happens if your bike's running too lean. Now, one of my friends, I forgot his YouTube name, he lives in Connecticut, has a blaster that if he took off the airbox lid, it ran better. So now I'm going to show you guys. Uh, my bike should be, I think, two and a half turns out, which I might have to bump it up one size on the main jet so it'll run a bit richer, but we'll see. Now, I'm, I'm going to go back to one and a half. Half, one, one and a half. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Once it gets higher, then you reset your idle and you're good to go. Right now, it's one and a half. Now my blaster is in the redneck way of tuning your bike. I mean, the real way would be getting an air gauge or whatever you call it, vacuum gauge, and seeing which setting's the highest. Once your RPMs get as high as they can, that's when you know your bike's pretty much tuned in. Now my bikes will start first kick every time like it did. If the man make sure screw was in all the way, you'd take two kicks, and, the, and if it was all the way out, it would take three kicks. Right now it starts first kick every time at this setting. That's the way it's got to be. Goodbye.